The Gentleman's Suit, a garment with origins over a century old that has withstood the test of time and has become the staple of any man's wardrobe. The suit has proved that it is here to stay, but through its drastic transformation over time, how does it manage to remain an undeniable symbol of masculine power? What makes it such a timeless piece? The smaller details are the determining factors in a suit's worth and longevity. It is those very same details that anchor the garment in a certain era. The harsh political climate of the 50s mandated fashion conservatism, but the trend-toppling 60s paved the way for new social freedoms, and suits became less about conformity and more about personal expression. The film industry began to flourish, and male fashion followed closely by. Men looked to their favorite stars for fashion cues, from the signature silk turn-back cuffs of Sean Connery in James Bond, to the flamboyant colors and wide lapels of Al Pacino in Scarface. What men wore was heavily influenced by what was popular in the theaters. Skipping to the 21st century, suits have leaned toward a simpler, sleeker look, with a slim silhouette and minimalistic features reminiscent of 1950s style. Two button jackets with a lower button stance, flat pockets, higher armholes, slim lapels and neckties are more commonly seen now than only a couple of decades ago. Such details, like the waistcoat, or the functioning cuff buttons may easily be overlooked by the untrained eye, as today's market sees a bigger boom in mass production than ever before. Large amounts of suits are being made by machine instead of by hand, resulting in a more efficient output, but at the cost of severely compromising the quality of the garment. With the fast pace of a city dweller's life, fashion outlets are convenient to shop at, but lesser known are the tailoring shops that live quietly under the umbrella of the bigger fashion brands. One such shop goes by the name of Savile Row, named after the iconic tailoring district in Mayfair, London. These shops' reputations are not built through advertising, but through word of mouth. My name is Chan. I own a tailor shop in Sukhumvit 18 called Savile Row Tailors. I have been in this business still uh, from 2006. My clients from most mostly from Europe and a few parts in Asia, Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, India, China too. And mostly I travel to Europe, Australia too, and in Singapore I have good clients. Chan offers a bespoke tailoring service where clothing is made to the customer's exact measurements as well as personal preferences. With no shortage of fabrics to choose from, suits can be personalized to the customer's content and comes with all the perks of a handmade suit, including the inner lining and functioning cuff buttons. Unlike when buying an off-the-rack suit from a shopping outlet, it is simply against the tailor's unwritten code to push an ill-fitting or unflattering suit onto a customer for them to buy. Bespoke means tailor to order. Anything you wanted custom made, this is bespoke. Like Rolls Royce, Ferrari, all bespoke. In the shopping mall, off the rack suits, they mostly they produce machine made. We do all handmade. We do, it's mostly grey, blue and black touch. And for the weather, if they stay warmer weather, then we produce more like a cashmere wool fabric. It's softer and it hangs proper. Cashmere is actually made from goat, the woolen goat, and which is more warm and it's mainly for warmer weather. And wool is made from sheep, hair from sheep, and it's lightweight. And it's good for mainly Asian weather, Middle East, A 
Aside from the type of material, another characteristic to consider is the fineness of the material. Generally, the higher the value, the more luxurious the appearance. Those are the thread counts on, of the wool. So they are starting from like 110 up to 250 now. We, this is a classic suit with two buttons and four buttons on the sleeves and a side vent. This is classic suit. And inside we have four pockets. On the left side we have three pockets. On the right side we have one pocket. This is slim lapel. Normal, right? It's a very in trend now with two and one quarter inch. For this client, he would like to have some, like a semi-formal, more like, more like a sporty look design. So I make him like a peak lapel with a handmade button holes with contrast color. Charcoal grey buttonhole with charcoal grey buttons. This is all same style with the hand stitching piping with the red lining. And same as four pockets on the left and one pocket on the right. Normally if they buy off the rack, you cannot alter them because they make size to size. But we keep everything extra fabric so they can if they gain weight we can alter for them. If you see the person wearing it, if the shoulder fits proper and the, the, the sleeves are okay, not too long, that's okay, make pro proper suit made. When created correctly, the many components of the suit come together to create a lasting ensemble that will invariably empower the wearer. Being the only men's garment that transcends the ever-changing whims of fashion, a well-made suit will have unrivaled flexibility and will remain timeless in its owner's wardrobe.